struggling with finding new clients, here are five tips to turn it into success. Let's start out. Having your own business can be difficult, but acquiring clients to keep it alive can be even more challenging. As a business owner, you might find that this is one of the most difficult and anxiety-inducing challenges. However, it is absolutely necessary to always be on the lookout for new customers. What does this mean? To make this process smoother and more efficient, take a look at these tips that we're gonna to discuss today. We have listed some proven tips that will help you find new clients and boost your business growth. Send efficient business proposals, that's number one. A supplier sends a business proposal to a potential client in the hopes of obtaining a specific project. A proposal is a written document that can be requested by the client or sent without them expecting it. It is, at its core, a sales document that contains all of the basic information found in other sales documents, such as estimates, bids, and quotes. Now, a business proposal's goal is to win a new project, frequently with a new client with whom you don't have a prior business history with. That's why you have to be good at sending efficient proposals. And what does an efficient proposal contain? A company's proposal is frequently up against bids from competitors. As a result, the objective of a proposal is to set you apart from your competitors and illustrate the value you'll bring to a potential client. Demonstrating how you'll save your prospective client's time or money, or perhaps assist them to make more money, is just one way to demonstrate value. Now let's get more into testimonials and examples of previous projects are frequently presented to highlight your reputation and what your company is capable of. This form of proof can help you gain the trust of a potential client if you're just starting out and can't quite show off some great achievements. You should definitely try to find a good business proposal template. And what do you do with this? Use it for your next proposal. This will help you kick things off well and be more efficient from day one. Now let's get more into using insights from communities. Now, a lot of companies employ community-filled consumer insights to find agile, actionable, first-party data from the right people at the right time at scale. Continuous real-time customer input helps you make better strategic decisions, confirm your brand and marketing goals, and build new services and products that your customers demand. Consumers interact with your company because they want to make a difference with the products and services that matter to them. They can also construct extensive relevant customer profiles that complement in a way and enhance the data recorded in your CRM or system of record because they engage with you constantly over time. These profiles bring all stakeholders in the company together around a common knowledge of the consumer. An insight community enables you to accomplish more in less time and for less money than you could preview previously. With this solution, the marketing mix can be explored, developed, tested, and validated. Now let's get to more being present in relevant Facebook groups. Some marketers have suggested that Facebook is no longer viable for doing business. It's easy to dismiss Facebook as a whole because pages now have very low organic reach. But although Facebook pages are going through a rocky patch, the website can actually help you acquire clients and expand your business. Now it's time to be active in Facebook groups where you think your customers could be hanging out. For example, if you're a content writer, you should join organizations for bloggers as these are the types of people who would benefit from your abilities. Let's say when someone is in a group and they ask a question, instead of being self-promotional, be extremely helpful. It doesn't get any simpler than that. The other group followers will be impressed by your knowledge and will look over your profile. Now it's time to be smart with your business blog. Writing blog entries that your prospective customers would find interesting and helpful is one of the finest non-spamming strategies to gain clients. Are you a gym coach? Give instructions on how to work out and what to eat for each fitness goal. Let's say you work as a content writer. Write an article about the ways of crafting a fantastic landing page. Let's say you're a car mechanic even. Give tips on how to drive safely when the snowy season starts. Not only will these tactics get people to go to your website, but it will also let you demonstrate your extensive experience and knowledge of the niche. You here will get to show off your skills and knowledge without pushing 
anything to your audience, as if it's an advertisement or a marketing campaign. You should also include a link or handle on your blog directing people to your business page. Take advantage of paid ads here. And this is the last tactic. If you're a newer company or online store, you'll probably need to spend more money on paid advertising to attract new clients. Ads generate quick results, producing visitors, leads, and revenues as soon as they go live. Paid ads can also improve SEO efforts by assisting in the discovery of keywords for use in organic search campaigns. Pay-per-click, or also known as PPC advertising, on the other hand, can quickly become costly if done incorrectly. Now, these were some best practices to follow in order to get the most out of your advertising budget. Include a retargeting strategy. Not everyone who clicks on your ad, whether it's on Facebook or Google, will buy something. Remarketing, retargeting ads. Supplement your paid advertising. How? By essentially following shoppers across the internet while displaying your adverts until they buy. Remarketing advertising can yield up to a 1,300% return on investment for some businesses. Take advantage of Google Dynamic Search Ads. The headlines and landing pages of Dynamic Search Ads draw content from your website based on what a visitor was looking for. Be smart with automation for Facebook ads. Consider deploying a chatbot to initiate a discussion with paid traffic if you decide to run Facebook advertisements. Now let's get to the final wrap up of this video. Every company's lifeblood is its customers. That is why you require a strategy that will assist you in attracting new clients on a consistent basis. So take what you can from the article you have just listened to and get ready for an influx of newcomers that will re revitalize your business.